Good morning, or afternoon, evening, whenever you're looking at this next message. I wanted to share with you a, a verse from Philippians, um, Philippians 1. Philippians 1 verse 3, it says this, I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And I just love this verse as much as I, I love Philippians. I guess it, it's been called his, his happy letter. I think Eugene Peterson called it his, his, his happy letter. It, Paul seems in, in a happy place. And yet in a way he, he's, he's kind of going through an isolation of his own. He, he's, he's in prison. He's writing this from prison. He's writing this after you know, slogging his guts out for 20 years in the ministry, having been used to opposition, all the stuff that's come against him. And yet he says, I consider all that complete rubbish, nothing compared to the joy of knowing Jesus Christ. But within that, he said it wasn't about him on his own. And I love this fact where he says, I... I love you guys. I thank God for you guys. And and what's, I think, one of the precious things for seeing us together as a church when we're we're not physically together as a church, as as many have commented on the images coming up of different people. And I'm sure there's some there we know, and there's some there we go, oh look, there's so and so, and there's oh there's so and so's dog. And then we get the odd one where we find out, oh, look what's behind them. Oh, they're doing all right. You know, And but it's about family, isn't it? But if you could never see those people and it was always pictures and it was always thought it wouldn't be the same because we miss that fellowship. And I love that report and I always thank God for you. But he's not being selective. He's not going, well... I, I'm pleased to see that picture, but that, oh, those ones, I'm not so keen on seeing that guy. No, it's, I'm pleased, I pray for all of you with this joy in my heart. I thank God daily for you, and I'm praying for you. And that alone says something. One, are we praying for one another during this time? Is our prayer for ourselves, or is it for our brothers and sisters? And is it, in great joy and he's confident Paul's confident in look wherever we're at whatever's going on God hasn't started something to just let it fizzle out God doesn't do that God does something because he has purpose he has fulfillment God finishes what God starts and therefore you can have complete confidence that him who started something amazing in not just us as individuals, but us as, as a church, as a community church, will bring it to completion. And yeah, it may not be to the day of Jesus Christ. But in a way, the day of Jesus Christ is every day. The kingdom is, is now and we can celebrate in that. And so Paul's exuberance of it, his excitement over the gospel is because this is a living and an active gospel. And so today, yes, whether you're in isolation, whatever we're facing, we can rejoice because we can be confident of this, that him who began a good work in you, in you, will bring it to completion on the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.